guys and friends this is Christopher Arca as you may all know me and my mom were diagnosed COVID positive last February February 26 we were on our lowest we were in our darkest chapter in our life needless to say we did not expect we did not expect to be infected with COVID virus. Psychologically, spiritually, we don't know. We were not prepared. No one is. And it was really scary. It's like you're, you're walking in, a, in total darkness. You don't know what to do. You'd like to pray, but sometimes um, there is fear. Sometimes there is doubt. Even if you pray sometimes, you feel like, really? But inside that darkness, in, inside that darkness, we could hear the voice. Even if it's just a whisper. First we were... Um, when we were diagnosed by, um, by, by the swab center, that we were positive, we were sent to uh, the Kalinga quarantine center here in San Juan. But when the when the when the uh, doctor there in the facility saw that my mom saw that my mom is um, not that really good she diagnosed her that she need, is needed to be transferred to the hospital so we just stayed there for a couple of days in the quarantine center then we were we were sent to san juan medical center the government hospital here in san juan we we don't know what to do we were in our lowest sometimes we um we almost want to give up being COVID patients is not really what we wanted. We, we were in total darkness. We don't know who to turn to. We don't know who to ask for help. The, our constant companion was only God. We tried harder to pray. And, and it was God's word that guided us through this total darkness and with this opportunity I would like to take this opportunity to thank certain people that God showed us that God sent our way for the people who first responded to my call for help for me and my mom it was our friends in the Lectors and Commentators Ministry in Santuario de San Jose. Tita Nani Jacob, Tita Veron Fernandez, Tita Chari Montilla, among others, from the depths of our heart. We appreciate your support and your help. Without your without your help, we uh, we don't know we don't even know if we would survive this ordeal. And with your prayers, it gave us strength spiritually. Even when, when our faith was that small already. But it was with your prayers here we are. Here we are. And also I would like to thank our teachers in uh, Coleo San Agustin, our grade school teachers, Mrs. Martinez among others. Um, thank you also for your moral support, for your prayers. Me and my mom are really grateful for constantly communicating with us. My mom is indebted to your kindness 
and right now even though she, even though when she cannot come here in, in the cameras um, she's having tears of joy she really appreciate your concern your prayers and your uh, your messages to us almost every day and to my friends to my alumni friends in the South Green Hills you really made me feel our brotherhood walang iwanan talaga to all you people we don't know how to thank you enough but from the bottom of our hearts we really appreciate you all being there for us um, constantly messaging us showing your concern and your prayers and most of you really helped us as well to survive those days y your support made us through saw us through till the end I I'd also would like to thank um, Mayor Francis Zamora for sending certain people to help us in our hospitalization with all the paperwork and stuff and also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the medical team of um, San Juan Medical Center, led by our attending physician, Dr. Dea Mariano. We, me and my mom, are both in your medical hands. Without your medical attention, without all those things, I don't know if we would still be alive. And I pray that God bless you more with your healing skills and also to keep you safe and all the medical team there. I don't know what else to say. But last but not the least, I would like to take this opportunity also to, uh, to give our deepest appreciation to the Gosson family, to Mary Tess and to uh, Tita Tess. You responded very quickly when I uh, when I messaged you for help. I don't know how to thank you enough. You you just answered as fast as that, as quick as that. I hope one day we could we could see each other me me and when Kuya comes back from the states I hope that we could sometime get a uh, get together to reacquaint our our families and uh, to these people God sent you to us to remind us that even in our darkest moment in our life, God uses our weakness to show His glory. Like in the Old Testament, during those times in the desert when people really were angry at Moses and God, God uses the, that opportunity to magnify Himself, to show them His glory that He can provide even when they are spiteful. I'm not saying that we were spiteful, but sometimes we doubt already if God really hears our prayers. We, me and my mom experienced it firsthand. But it was because if I did not bring my Bible, I'd be lost. Because the, the scripture helped our prayer life. We were, um, we were held in check. God's word is the light in the dark. Every day I try to read the Bible. It, it is my commitment. And I am thankful that, that God helped, me, helped my faith to carry on for my, for my family. Anyway, God bless you all. God bless you all. May I, um, I would like to 
share a blessing with you before I end this uh, thanks Thanksgiving message. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you his peace. God bless you again. Hope you um you you hear this message and hopefully I'll see you next week in our Bible in focus. Thank you very much.